Welcome to another episode of Urbex. Today, I'm here in the Dayton Centerville area sure, at the sure. Sugar Creek leave, Plaza. Leave the old lady out. Just, you know. I'm I didn't really... know crazy old lady wanted to be in the intro or yes. even in this video. I can't see, but. We're actually here to check out two closing stores right next to each other. Wow, it's like a. What was I going to say? It's a double, a double feature. That's what I was thinking. You got Bed Bath & Beyond right back there. Kind of a newer style. And then you've got. Bye Bye Baby, which is their parent company. What are you doing? Well, you keep leaving me out. All right, let's go check out these closing stores. Which one are we going into first? Let's go into Bed Bath & Beyond first. Well, they're, they're waiting for us. Waiting. I know. <laughs> wow, big store closing banners. Everything must go 20 to 50% off. I remember I used to shop at, um, well, my mom and I would go to Bed Bath & Beyond all the time back in the like 90s. Hello, Dayton. Yeah, here's all the, the fixtures that are for sale. They've got a lot of really good stuff. Of course, a lot of it's sold. But of course, if it doesn't say Bed Bath & Beyond on it, you all know I'm not really... Oh, wait, they're selling the cart corrals? I could not fit that in my basement, unfortunately, in my museum. Hey, you can get some Dysons over here at some discounts. Of course, still very expensive because Dyson is outrageously expensive and then you put it on sale and then it's just expensive. I don't know if I would spend $16 on these are very similar to like the Rubbermaid or the Ziploc kind of cheapy containers, but what are you to, wow, that is a really wide spatula. Yeah. Whoa, SpongeBob would be proud. All right, everyone, the holy grail of mixers, the KitchenAid, still expensive, but 20% off, so maybe a better deal. So I'm hoping to maybe find a pan, preferably a stainless steel pan, because my mom needs to replace some of her cookware, but I'm uh, mostly seeing just this um, non-stick coated crap that I don't care for. Well, here's, that's a whole set though, and I only need like a pan. Okay, let's go. Yeah, they always used to have good towels because we have gotten a lot of our towels from here over the years, but what are these? All right, you got to leave a comment down below. Are these a hideous disaster or are they absolutely fabulous? <laughs> what did you say? I said those are pride towels. Crazy Look old lady thinks colors. that they're pride towels. I don't think so. Taste the rainbow. What? Taste the rainbow. That's Skittles. Skittles. Okay. Uh, <laughs> so I saw this towel and I was like, ooh, that's a really nice manly towel. Right next to the underwear. Manly underwear. Alrighty then. You guys, I found our new chip clips. I've been looking for more chip clips for like the longest time Those ever. Are huge. Yeah, I know. Look at they're like as big as her face. Aren't those the best chip clips you've ever seen? No. I think they are. They won't fit in the drawer. Oh, that's the whole point. They're fun. Okay. You, you don't need to put them in the drawer. You put them on the chip. It's bag. not a chip clip. It's a towel clip. Well, you had to go and ruin everything now, didn't you? Well, I'm sorry, but... I knew it was a towel clip. No, you? I need a chiropractic pillar. Pillow. Yes, a peeler. You want a lavender? No, I don't want lavender-infused pillows. Ew. Why would Ooh, I want that? There's Ew. no support to that at all. Yeah, those are the crap pillows. You got to go get, like, like, all the orthopedic pillows, like these. Well, I don't really want memory foam pillows. What was the name? What even... Well, they're not going to have it here because it's you got to get it from a chiropractor. No. No, no, no. It's the pillow pier pillow <sighs> pillow pier dick. What? Pillow pier dick. I can't because it's pillow pier dick. It's one of those words that you can't say back to. That's what I was trying to it's say. Pillow pier dick. Yeah, you can't say that back to back. It's too difficult. 
Yes, you can. Pillowpedic. No, pillow a pillow or pedic. It's pillowpedic. A little pedic. He's a retard. I'm sorry, gang. But She's a retard. He talks like that all the time. No, I don't. And refuses to go to physical, or not physical, <laughs> but therapy You, you need to go to brain therapy. No. <laughs> That's okay. I'm I can talk. I just can't say that one word. Stop it. It's not funny. It is too funny. Shut up. Pillow. Well, that was Bed Bath & Beyond, and in traditional Bed Bath & Beyond fashion, I think the prices were way outrageous. And then even with their sale prices, like the 20%, and yes, it's really windy. Why well, always when I film videos, but even with their 20% off, I was like, hmm, it's way too expensive because I was comparing like $4.99 for a little thing of gold bond, and I went on the Target, and you could get the same thing for like $3.99 normally. And I was like, that's not really that good of a deal. So what were your thoughts on that, this store? Those were my thoughts. Well, I just, I don't think Bed Bath & Beyond is what they used to be. No, they're not. No, they're not, and it sucks because I have a lot I of- I loved it. I have a lot of childhood memories from Bed Bath & Beyond. But anyways, yeah. let's go check out the Bye Bye Baby, even though neither of us have any babies or know anyone with babies or even, I don't even like babies. Shame on you. <laughs> no, I really don't care for them. When they get to be like walking and talking, then, then okay, I'm fine. Okay, let's go check them yeah, out. Yeah, let's go check it out. Want to see your name here? Head on over to patreon.com slash tilted tripod media and become a member today and gain access to all of my secret content as well as other member exclusive perks. And thank you for supporting the future of video. Oh, it's been so long since I've been in a Bye Bye Baby before. I know we had one in Michigan when I lived in Canton. Right there on Ford Road, and it's probably long gone by now. Or maybe it's closing right now. Yeah, we had a Bye Bye Baby on Ford Road right by where the, remember Plato's um, Coney Island? It was in that same shopping center. There might have even been a Bed Bath & Beyond in there, but I don't know. They're only having 20 to 50% off too. Yes, it is very hot outside. Ugh. There you can get a look at what their carts look like. They look similar to the Bed Bath & Beyond. All right, so here we can get a look at the fixtures that are for sale. They, wow, they've got a lot here. A lot of them though are sold. And you can get the cart corrals for $300. Hmm. Nothing in here though that says Bye bye, baby. So I wouldn't really be interested in it. Yeah, that's a very nice dresser. It's all kind of screwed up though, but it's a very nice dresser. It's the last one, unfortunately. It did come with a crib. You can see it came with the crib there. What is their prices? There's their prices. Hmm. I guess that's not really too bad because oh no, that's cheap. Yeah, it's not laminated, so you know. Oh, they really wrecked it. But this the floor model's kind of ruined. Yeah. Oh, it is on nice rollers too. That's not Yeah, this is all the like baby monitors. Wow, do they have a lot of baby monitors to choose from? Yikes. And they are 50% off. So over here, we are getting some 50% off sales, and that's gonna be a pretty good deal then. Um, because these cameras can be very expensive. Oh my goodness, you guys, I just found the most ridiculous thing ever, and I kind of really want it, even though it's completely stupid and I don't need it. Look at this. Okay, I have the adult version of this. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's like a mini Dyson hair dryer, and then they actually even have the, like, cordless flat iron oh my gosh it says it even makes the little like look on the box it makes the little pss, like it's heating up sound oh my gosh just too much just too much you mean they're toys yeah tell me down in the comments would you buy this or not oh my gosh i just think it's kind of the coolest thing even though it's just stupid at the same time and the buttons actually like work no. all right so now we're going to take a look at the uh baby clothes that they have. They have some very nice, uh, a very nice selection, all at 25 to 50% off. Most of this though is 25% off. You can see 
course they've got the prices scratched out on a lot of this stuff but here you can see $14.99 14.99 oh wow you found the jackpot i kind of like that that's beautiful 25 bucks that's not bad at what is it 25 percent off yeah yeah that's not a bad price for that msrp no msrp was 26. oh okay well that's not bad no oh yes toy section maybe we'll find something interesting in this section yeah. crazy old lady wants a boppy Let's get her a boppy. Not a boppy, a whatever, what do you call it? The piddle pad. I called it a piddle pad. I think boppies are those stupid little donut yeah, things you sit in. Feel that. But yeah, these are, feel oh this. wow, that is really soft. Isn't that incredible? I want one. Wait a minute, why is that creepy? I don't know, it's a beanbag chair. Yeah, it's just a, it's just a sequin beanbag chair, and yeah. you do this to it, and you go, ah, ooh, and you can change the color of it, ooh. Yes, it does. Oh my gosh, we have a, a Batmobile baby walker. That is super cool. Remember these in the 90s when they had the controversy about them tipping over and killing your kid? Yes, and, yep. and they did. And because... our neighbors had one, and you were like, oh no, it's going to tip over. No. It's in a video. No, it was, um, they would take them downstairs, kids would. Yeah, I know. And dangerous. Yeah, and somehow they are still surviving yep, here in 2023. There's I Spot Elmo. Oh no, not Elmo. Well, that was a look at Bye Bye Baby and Bed Bath & Beyond over here in the Centerville, Dayton area. And guess what? We can say bye bye to Bye Bye Baby. <laughs> Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you on another episode of Urbex. There's your